mature the generations, it is really a kind of pervasive processes. Uh, whether it's in Parkinson, in Alzheimer, or in ALS, uh, there is a commonality. Not necessarily that the, the factors that cause the disease are the same, but at the cellular biology, there are some shared uh, concepts. And that is that all the cells are part of the disease process. So for years, many people, including myself, we have looked at neurodegeneration from what I called a very neuronal centrist, meaning that neurons are, uh, are, are compromised, neurons are dying, and so everything had to start and end with neurons. And so now we know at the system level that that's probably a naive uh, vision of the process and that many other cells are part of the disease mechanism. And of that, of course, uh, as you probably know, the most abundant cells of the brain are not the neurons. The neurons are important, but the most numerous cells are glial cells, and particularly astrocytes. You have roughly 10 astrocytes per neurons. And so the questions that my lab and several other labs have looked at, it's what could be the role of these non-neuronal cells to the demise of neighboring uh, neuronal cells. We look at ALS, uh, but the, the concept and the approach is identical if I were to study uh, Parkinson. And the idea is that those astrocytes, exactly as I said, become sick eventually. They see their metabolism and their function compromised. And depending on the extent of these alterations, it, at some point it becomes uh, deleterious uh, to the neighboring neurons and contribute to their uh, degenerations. The array of mechanisms that are involved in this non-neuronal cell um, contribution to pathogenesis is large. It can be a loss of functions. Astrocytes are doing normally very important supportive uh, role and activities. You can imagine that with the disease process, they start not doing as well what they're supposed to do. That's the loss of function. But there are also evidence, from our work at least, that there is a gain of function. In other words, that because they're compromising their normal function, they start to embark toward molecular pathways that they're not supposed to embark on normally. And this, again, it's badly tolerated by nearby neurons and contribute to their demise. So that's basically, uh, in a nutshell, uh, my take on the non-cell autonomous uh, aspect of neurodegeneration pathogenesis. And of course, the reason why I'm excited about this is because if you want to think in terms of therapies, uh, we should probably move back a little bit away from the idea that we're going to only target the neurons, but we have to think about targeting the whole nervous system, the multicellular aspect of the nervous system, and maybe their polypharmacy uh, it would be mandatory.